Yeah, so, what's going on? I almost just hit a bird. <laughs> so sitting at home, working, I just turned on Caddyshack, because it's an awesome movie. And all of a sudden, poof! Network stops working. I'm like, okay, what the hell? First thing I do when everything stops working is I try to log into the radio at the data center. Because if I can get to that, I know that my network is fine. The CP on my house is good. The sector radios are probably all good. The switch is working. The backbone link is still connected. Everything, everything's still good. Well, I could. I could get to the data center. So I try to log into the router. Router's still up and chugging right along. That's bad. <laughs> when none of my stuff is broken, that means somebody else's stuff is broken. And that sucks. Because I got people emailing me and stuff, of course, all yelling and screaming and talking about how it's so uh, the worst timing ever. I have my whatever presentation in five minutes and I'm that type of thing. And when I can't fix it, I don't know what's wrong with it. I can't give an estimated time of completion to get it back up. That sucks. So I sat on the phone with support for probably a good 30 minutes or so. Network's been down about an hour at this point, maybe a little over that. And uh, sat on tech support and talked to them and they did whatever the hell they did on their end. And they're like, oh yeah, I see you're dropping packets. They're pinging from their router to my router and nothing. They say it like it's just matter of fact, like, yeah, you know, uh, packets are dropping. And first thing I think of is why? <laughs> why is it doing that? So I have to go to the damn data center now and try to figure out what the hell is going on. Nothing changed on my end. Everything just stopped working. Well, I should say the connection went away. Everything still works. I can log into the router from my house. Like I can do a trace route from my laptop at my house to 8.8.8.8 or whatever. And it goes to my router just fine and then stops. So whatever is connected to my router isn't connected no mo. And I don't know why. So we're heading over to the data center. Figured I'd take you guys along because it's inevitable this is going to happen. <laughs> if you start a wisp, things are going to break. I know I've said that before. <laughs> this is just to further drive the point home. <laughs> so I'm going to go over and um, plug my laptop into the switch. And then I have to call them back and see what other troubleshooting steps they want to take or whatever. It, it's acting kind of like the fiber line, the actual fiber cable plugged into my stuff got damaged. That's what it's acting like. So we shall see. That's where my my money is right now. I just walk on freaking the red hand. Go for it. Yeah, so we're here and uh, let's hope this dude doesn't hit my damn car. Freaking spots are tiny and he's way over. So <laughs> uh, here's to hoping I don't come back to a dent in my door. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can go in and figure out what the hell's going on. Time for a slow elevator ride. Hmm, why is there a chair next to my rack? Who the hell's been in here? Someone been messing with my shit? At least there's no more beeping, that's good. <laughs> oh, nice. Huh. Interesting. All right, first thing I gotta do is power cycle the switch that we have the fiber going into. See if that does anything. And by power cycle, I mean yank the power cable and then plug it back in. So yank, and then plug it back in. There we go. So that's the uh, the switch up here. That's the only thing in between the router, which is right there, and the fiber connection that's having an issue, which is this. 
So it's going to boot back up. <sighs> and I believe... I think this is plugged into this switch, I think. So I should be able to plug into that. Let's see what we've got going on. Uh, nope. <laughs> One goes from the router, the other goes up to the radio. So I'll just plug into that right there once it finishes booting. Yeah, so I plugged it into the switch and you can see the the second blinky blinky right there is the uh, this. This is a blinky blinky. I have a IP on the right network, so but I still can't ping the uh, the router which is interesting. On the phone to support, and it just dawned on me why I couldn't ping the router when I was plugged into the other switch, because that's on the other side of the router, different IP. Uh, I was pinging the wrong side. I was trying to ping the internal IP. Can't do that from the outside, so yeah. Let me try plugging into this switch right here. Let's see what it does, if anything. Okay, I can ping the switch. <laughs> and you can see my desktop popped up on Steam. <laughs> so, my network back to my house and the rest of the WISP, we can call it subscriber side, is good to go. Something isn't right in that switch or the router or um, the other side. So we have like Wisp side, subscriber side, and then other side. I don't know how those switches are configured though. Well, the one I just plugged into is working fine because I can get to subscriber side. The other switch though, I don't know how that one's set up. But either that's not working or I felt like somebody stepped behind me. <laughs> Either the switch isn't working or something beyond the switch isn't working. So yay fun. So we're trying to ping from one port in the switch, where is it? To another port and it's dropping packets in the switch. Yeah. So and this is a $600 10 gigabit fiber yeah. switch. $600 10 gig fiber switch Not and it's a uh, year. Yeah, it died in a year. It's looking like the switch itself died because it's literally dropping packets. We're trying to ping from one port to the other in the switch and it's doing that shit. So yeah, now we're going to set up a VLAN in the switch under the Unify switch. Yeah, we're going to put the fiber in there and create a network because that's a layer three switch. So yeah, it'll do routing and stuff as well. But we can create a VLAN in that, pass it off to the router. Bang, boom, wham, slam. I just can't believe a fucking switch died. Like, it's in optimal conditions. It's not even doing any POE or anything labor intensive. Shit, it has yeah. three things plugged into it. So, um, what? He said he's been having a lot of issues with, with um, Unify. Unify. They've been jaunty again, by the way. <laughs> yep, so basically what we're doing is the SFP uh, the yeah. SFP port here and the uh, RJ45 here, yeah. we're isolating them so that yeah. way Yeah, just yeah. just creating a VLAN so they're on their own, they're completely separate. Yeah. Um let me tell tech support guy uh, all right, bud, we're going to mess around with some stuff here. I'll give you guys a call back if, uh, if need be. Thank you, buddy. Bye. All right, so he's good and done and over with. Um, so, again, I warn you against the Unify stuff. <laughs> That's been a... Uh... That's he, been an uh, overarching uh, thing with, yeah. That's been kind of an ongoing thing with our network is all the Unify gear dies. Yeah. 
which is uh, yeah. pretty sad. That, that's right. The one at your house, at the relay house. Yeah, the one at the relay house shit the bed on me too. Yeah. I forgot about that because I had a eight port, 150 watt Unify switch there that I replaced with the Natonix because it started doing all kinds of weird, it just wouldn't pass traffic anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So have I mentioned before, don't mess with Unify? Yeah, don't mess with Unify. Not just do you have to uh, adopt the shit, which is a pain in the ass to begin with, but they die. <laughs> I'm back on the phone with tech support because we completely eliminated everything, like the, come on, work with me. The switch on the top, we're pretty sure is dead. We're not gonna use that anymore at all. We switch to this switch and it pings across and everything just it works just fine so we set it up with the router and all the all the other shit i can still ping the wisp side of things the subscriber side but pinging out still doesn't work and right now it's literally just acting as like a media converter the fiber is right there and then it goes out that and then um it's still not working so yeah to wrap everything up, uh, oh, mystery solved. I'm talking to the tech support guy. Like, I can't ping out. We took out everything that there was from in between my laptop and the internet. And I tried to ping 1.1.1.1 and it wasn't working. It was timing out. So the tech support guy is like, well, I'm seeing a lot of traffic coming from you. And I'm like, what do you mean? He said he was seeing 51,000 packets a second coming from my network, the network, whatever. And I was like, come again? So I told John, I was like, unplug my buddy's server. And as soon as he did, boom, the network started working again. Yeah. I don't know what the hell was going on on his machine on that server that's in here. He, uh... He just uses it for like Plex and stuff. He doesn't do anything weird on it. He only has like a VM in it. So I don't know what the hell happened, but we're disabling the networking in that VM so it can't get out anymore. And uh, we're gonna kinda, I'm not gonna plug it back in until he gets that sorted out, obviously. Cause that's, yeah. Uh, I guess, well, I don't, I don't think it's a hardware issue. I don't know. That's. Yeah, but we're back up and running now. It was malware, maybe, probably, I don't know. It turned out maybe not to be hardware. Maybe that's what killed the switch. I don't know. Very, very strange, but that's why you have everybody on their own damn network because that keeps their weird shit from affecting your weird shit. Uh, yeah, it may take your network down, but it's theoretically not gonna infect your side of the network. Uh, segregation you gotta keep stuff separate because yeah as soon as he unplugged that that server boom it started working again <sighs> never a dull moment <laughs> so impromptu video I know figured I might as well show you guys how it goes sometimes because yeah that's how it goes sometimes <laughs> until next time like share sub all that happy horse shit later